Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, in the comment section of one of the color along videos I did, somebody asked me if I was going to do a completed works for uh, September and I haven't done one since July. It was like mid-July and I am really bad about dating my pages that I color. I need to start doing that. So that's a goal for myself that I'm going to try to remember somewhere to put the date on them or write them down, keep track of them so that I can do these and, you know, remember which ones I did. So I pulled the pages that I think I've completed since my last finished works video, but it's highly possible that I am forgetting some or that I actually might repeat one or two. So if I do that, please forgive me. Um, but these are the ones that I, I'm pretty sure I have not shown yet. This one, I'm not positive, though. I might have already showed this one. This was the um, from Carolina Kubikowska. Um, this is her first book. I don't have the Ticket to Dreams one, but this is the, um, I can't pronounce it, so I call it the Creepy Polish Coloring <laughs> Book. Um, I just colored a little bit, and this one, um, it was actually a double page that I did. Um, I don't know if it's all going to fit here in the camera. So there was one page here, and here was the other page. And I just used, um, I had purchased my, um, I don't know if it needs to be zoomed out, if that'll show it better. Okay, a little bit better. You can see my scratched up desk this way. <laughs> this desk gets a lot of love. Um, I um, used my um, Faber-Castell watercolor crayons on this. I had purchased them at the grocery store and I was really anxious to try something out with them. So I just was kind of playing around with those. So that's all I used. I didn't use any pencils or anything. That was all just the um, Faber-Castell watercolor crayons. Um, so those were that. And I don't know if I've shown this already or not. So if I did, I apologize for that. Um, Next is a work in progress. It's kind of funny because I actually showed it, I think, before <laughs> from Magical Dawn. I'm still, it's still a work in progress, <laughs> I, but I did do a background on it. I had gotten some oil pastels and I was really excited about trying those. So I played with those a little bit and that's what that is. Just some, um, I can zoom in a little bit more now, I guess, because that's on a double page. Um, so yeah, that's, um, oil pastels and then I use polychromos on the bottle but I haven't gotten very far on this at all. I don't know what it is with me and why I can't seem to get this one finished. Um, next was from Steampunk Fairyland by Deborah Muller and again these aren't in any kind of order I just went through and pulled out ones that I don't think I've shown before. Um, I have one page in here that I think I did for a contest it was called Jolly in July. So um, it was just like, obviously a steampunk fairy. <laughs> I put a lot of stickles on her. I don't know if they're going to show up in this, uh, lighting or not, but lots and lots of lighting or lots and lots of stickles on her. And you had, it was a challenge where you could only use a certain amount of colors. Um, like light green, dark green, red, gold, and cream, I think were the, was the color scheme. I had a lot of fun with this one. I think it's cute. So that's Deborah Muller steampunk. Fairyland. Next is um, Ghoulish Girls, Deborah Muller. And this one I know I did for um, Sharon, Sweet Nightingale. Gosh, I can't remember. <laughs> I can't remember the numbers that go after that. Um, she did a color along, and uh, I think it was called Snarky and Scary or Snarky and Spooky or something like that. So I colored this one for that, and I love this one. I had a lot of fun doing this. It reminded me a lot of... Um, a girl, like a character that you would see in like Supernatural, the TV show. I don't know. It just really, I really, really liked this one. I thought she really definitely looks like she's down in the pits of hell <laughs> somewhere. And I put stickles on her. I don't know if they're going to show up in, on the, in the light or not, but maybe there we go. Maybe she got a lot of stickles on her, but I just really... I don't know. She reminded me of like a demonic rave girl or something. So that one was fun. Ghoulish Girls by Deborah Miller. And then um, Mona and I did a buddy color out of Autumn Scenes by Teresa Goodridge. That's a Creative Haven book, obviously. We did a buddy color. This page was so popular in this book. Let me see if I can find it. I should have marked everything. 
Uh, let's see. Here we go. I, I think everybody that has this book does this page. <laughs> so Mona and I did a buddy color on this guy, and I had a lot of fun with this, too. It, it was the first pumpkin uh, I think I colored for this this fall, and it was it was really fun. I liked it a lot. I thought it was cute, and I enjoyed doing it with her, and it was quick. We just did it over a couple days, and it was fun. So that was my buddy color with Mona out of Autumn Scenes. And then I started a page from Witches and Whimsy from Lauren Claire. She had sent me this book for review and I started this page and I never finished it. And it's really weird because it usually is a general rule. I am not a person that has a lot of works in progress. Um, but for some reason, I just kind of got stuck or something. I wasn't pleased with her skin with the way it came out. But the good thing about this book is it has duplicate pages. <laughs> so if I don't decide to finish it, I can always go back in and color it differently. But I know if I push through and I color it, I'll end up liking it because that's what always happens. You just have to push through and you'll end up liking it. Once I get all of her hair shaded in, it, it's not very amount of, it's not very like, well, the color palette is kind of like all over the place. And that's what I guess threw me off about it is I, I didn't put a lot of thought into it. So kind of got stuck on that one, but hopefully I will be inspired to go back and finish that soon. So that's from Witches and Whimsy by Lauren Claire. And then I have quite a few in this Magical Witches by Deborah Muller. Um, I have quite a few. I started doing color alongs on the Deborah Muller Facebook group. And um, this was one of them, I think. So this one I did in August. And she's got stickles too. Uh, it's hard for me to tell what's showing up. There we go. She's very stickletacular. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, with the moon and uh, her hat. And then I have them down here on the pumpkins also. Lots of stickles there. So that was fun. And I was staying with my mom when I did that one. So that was nice. And then I ended up doing... Let me see. What else? I did a couple of them. Uh, this one was another one that I did. And I really like this one a lot too. This one was almost all markers and no stickles. But I did put like a little gemstone on her necklace there you know one of those little adhesive gemstones but I like that one a lot I just used um pro probably Bic because when I was staying with my mom I went to Target and I bought the 36 Bic marker set so that's probably what I used on this and then Prismacolor pencils for highlighting and stuff like that but I really like this one I don't know I just like the colors of it and I like the hat and everything about her and then I also did, let me make sure I'm not skipping. I did this one also. <laughs> and um, this one has lots of stickles on it too. I thought this page was super, super cute. Um, I used oil pastels on the background because I, like I said, I was staying with my mom. And um, I went to Five Below and purchased the f uh, 48, I believe set of oil pastels from Royal Lang and Lang Nickel. They were um, like four bucks or five dollars. And so I was playing with those when I did this. So I did like the background with the pink and then I put the little polka dots, like the blue polka dots. Um, but I put lots of stickles on her various brooms and her bag of tricks. And then the whole border is blue and it's stickled. And then the dots all have stickles in them. So I thought this one was really fun. I had a goal of trying to finish the um, the dub, this book by the end of the year. I don't think it's going to happen now. But we are talking about in the Dubber Miller coloring group of picking one book and trying to complete it. And not like on a timeline, you know, like, I don't think by a certain date, but we're just trying, trying that out. And then this one I also did when I was at my mom's. This must have been, I, I know I always take more than one book with me, but for whatever reason, I was stuck with this book. I was really enjoying it. <laughs> so um, this one also I did while I was at my mom's. No stickles on this one. It was just kind of, you know, just kind of the way it was. And I think, yeah, that's the only ones I did while I uh, in that time period. 
<coughs> excuse me. And then here we have Vampire Vixens by Deborah Muller. Can you guys tell that Deborah's my favorite? I tell everybody <laughs> that she's my favorite. <coughs> excuse me, I'm sorry. <coughs> and this one I did a color along um, for her channel or um her facebook group with this one and i really 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 enjoyed coloring this one i thought this one was a lot of fun um and i it was my first attempt at using like the oil pastels for her um skin so that was kind of kind of fun to do but this was i think like one of my first color longs or was the magical witches my first color long i can't remember which one it was but i had a lot of fun doing this page i think it's cute and a lot of fun. But I think the other one, I think that's the only one I did. Yeah. In that time frame out of that book. And then I completed um, a page from The Beauty of Horror 2, Guliana's Creepatorium. I was really excited to get this book when it first came out. And this was a page I knew that I wanted to do uh, right away. I really wanted to do this page. I just love it. It's like my favorite illustration in the whole book. So um, I just love these creepy guys. I'm very pleased with the way that it came out. I really took my time with it. And um, I wanted the children to look very vintage. I wanted the mirror to look vintage. And I think it looks really cool. Like they're stepping out of the mirror. I think it almost has dimension to the mirror. Um, I was pretty pleased with myself on this one. Um, I just really, really like it. I like the colors, how they look a little bit faded and, and dull because I wanted them to look old, you know, like, like old. I just thought that was really cool. So I'm really looking forward to coloring some more in this one too. So that's it out of that. And then for, I still haven't put my cover back on it, <laughs> for the Jasmine Beckett Griffith color long that we did for Shalene's group. I didn't manage to get all the pages colored, but um, I did do, that's an old one. Let me find it. Gosh darn it. Shalene had chosen this page, Queen of Halloween. So I did that one, um, and I used um, Prismacolor pencils and markers, and then I put um, black acrylic paint as the background. There was kind of a busy background on this page, and I painted it out because I just didn't feel like handling it. It was like little haunted house outlines and bats and stuff like that, and I was just wasn't feeling it. So, <laughs> so I went ahead and I just painted that out, and I... Uh, wanted her to be the focus and then for my week I chose voodoo in the bayou which you've probably already seen but this was my rendition of that wasn't crazy about how it came out but um it's not bad you know I'm okay with it but again not crazy about it but I'm okay with it so that was like one of my most recent ones. And then I am planning on continuing, even though um, we only have a couple more days of the color along. And Stickers is doing um, another page out of here. Um, Pumpkin King's Night Out. And I plan on doing that one. And then uh, I just finished this today. Uh, just a few minutes ago, this is from Fairy Merry Christmas, and I have it open because the stickles aren't dry yet, but this is what the cover looks like, Fairy Merry Christmas by Deborah Muller, and I have a lot of stickles on this one also, and we use Crayola pencils and markers on this, and stickles, and we put gold paint, and when I say we, I guess I mean I, I put gold paint on her wings to give it like a metallic bit of sheen there. So I have that going on. Um, I finished that today. And I said I wasn't going to put a background on it, but it's making me crazy. <laughs> I don't know if I can resist the urge to do it. I'm just like, I'm so background oriented. It's just me and it's my style. And then I also have one more um, of a out of a Deborah Muller book. This one is Born is the King, which is one of her new Christmas books. And I started one of these already. And I started this page, too. Um, so I need to finish that. But that's what I'm working on right now. So I might end up putting a background on the Fairy Mary page. I'll finish this page. But I'm also anxious to start that Pumpkin King's Night Out um, in the Jasmine Beckett Griffith book. So 
So that's what I've got going on, you guys. That's I'm, There might have been more. I know I had... Um, I was doing a page in the Dover Vampires book. Um, and I didn't finish it. And I don't know where I put the book at the moment. I'm like looking through the... Wait, oh, I found it on my shelf. I thought it was a different one. Hold on, hold on. Here we go. So, oops, I didn't mean to hit the camera. So I started a page in this and I didn't finish it. I guess I have more works in progress than I thought. Um, and I never finished, but that's what I was working on. I chose that one and I started working on it. Um, I was using my Marco Raffine pencils on that page and I didn't get very far, but I, I should finish it because I think it's pretty and I, I think it will look very nice once it's completed. Um, so hopefully I can finish that. And I put this paper towel in between the pages because I didn't know if it would rub off or not. And it kind of has a little bit, but not too bad. So that's another thing I got going on. I just don't like these works in progress. I've got to finish them. I don't like the idea of them floating around out there not finished. But um, that's what I have going on. Um, those are the pages I've completed. As far as I can remember, for like August, September, and October. Um, so yes, and from now on, I will date my pictures or mark them down so that I can start doing these like monthly or bi-monthly, and I'll, I'll remember what they are. But um, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it, and I will see you in the next video.